Come back. Let's go. Don't mute my drama. Everything's up, I think. Got my buffs. Sorry, Elk. Apologies for what I did to you. And yeah, let's just head back in. Like I say, I, I'm not convinced that this Dawn God Hammer is actually doing me much good. I'll leave it on the horse in case I need it against future Dragon Priests, I guess. But even then, it's, it's questionable. Let's give it a go. Oh, there. Little bastard, why are you so hard to get? Come here. Thank you. Oh, there's frostbite spiders down here. There's frostbite spiders down here. Was this poison not the best? Okay. Looks like this entire dungeon has respawned, which... I'm not entirely happy about. I've got to be honest. Um, I'm going to use one word of slow time to try and kill these motherfuckers. So I don't have to use any of my resist poison potions. What's through here? Yeah, one of the main alteration spells that I actually care about is almost lets me open master locks. I don't, although having said it, I don't think I've got much of a use for opening random master locks, do I? Like, what random master locks do I even want to open? For the most part, opening master locks is good for stealing things, which I have no intention of doing. And also for, like, bypassing enemies, which I don't really need to bypass at all. There we go, just keep going. We'll be good. That took a lot of fucking stamina. Why is there just a random warhammer lying there? Yeah, why has this entire dungeon respawned? Because I cleared it, didn't I? I cleared it relatively recently. Did it just respawn because it was randomly selected? I've never seen that happen before. So that's Hawk, then Whale, then Snake and Whale, I think. Oh shit, hang on, what? It's already open! Motherfucker, I didn't even need to do that. Okay, are all these places gonna be already open? Okay, can you can you guys come at me or something? Because right now I'd uh, rather not have to worry about dealing with all this nonsense. Guess I just kind of plowed through them there. That'll do. I do need more stamina, though. So I guess I... <clears throat> do I use the stamina potion? Drink that. Why the hell not? I actually don't have many of those. I need to make more. I need... That's it. I need more honeycomb. I remember thinking that. Oh, it's this fucking room. Okay. Okay. It's a giant, giant frostbite spider. In which case... Um, yeah, let's just quickly, you know what, we want a little bit of extra stamina. There we go. Paralyze the motherfucker. I'll take it out with Valendron. <laughs> Guy's still in the middle of respawning. Maybe a cloak so you don't need to two-hit him. What do you mean, cloak? What, like a cloaking spell? Don't have access to any of those, unfortunately. Oh. Like, cloaks are fine, but I don't, I don't have any cloak spells. Oh, this character. Yeah. 
Who's for a Come on, bitch. I should probably feather falling just in case he does. Okay, so I was informed. Let me check something. That having magic resistance above a certain amount, which it isn't, above 51% makes you immune to the knockdown effect. Or having health above a certain amount. So I think, yeah, having over 600 health or over 51 magicka apparently makes you immune to the knockdown from Fusrodar. So I actually don't need to care about Fusrodar anymore. I'm just straight up immune to the worst effect of that, which is the knockdown. Fuck you, buddy. Okay, now we need to try and get through here. Which I should be able to do relatively easily. Um, can I get through four? I can. Only just, but I can. You're kidding me. He's not come back to fucking life, has he? Or is it just a regular death lord? It's a regular death lord. Okay, that makes more sense. So I was gonna say. Okay, this paralyzed this motherfucker. Can you stop? Thank you. Skadoosh. And there we go. Um, have another nap. Thank you. Happy time for Drogas. Paralysis well, is so fucking busted, man. Why? It just, it literally respawned an entire dungeon that I've already cleared in order to make me do the whole dungeon again. Todd just loves making me jump through his fucking hoops, doesn't he? God damn it, Todd. This is why nobody likes you. I'm sorry, that was rude of me. I take it back. Everybody loves you, Todd. Everybody loves you. Oh, um... Okay. I'm kind of interested to see if I can actually get my two-handed to 100. Uh, it's rare for me to get an offensive skill to 100. Like, an offensive skill that can't be easily grinded. Um, so I'd be surprised if I could, but it would be it would be cool if I could. Because I've never really gotten to play around with the level 100 two-handed perks. And there's two of them. Which is twice as many as... Uh, most offensive schools. Well, I guess Destruction has... How many 100 perks are there for Destruction? There's at least four. Okay, that took a long-ass time to load. Level 100 perks. Yeah, so there's that one, there's that one, there's that one. And then there's that one. I think, yeah, so I think it's just four. Right. And then, uh... Alteration has three level 100 perks, and I think I care about all of them, don't I? Obviously that one. I mean, yep, magic absorption's always going to be good, and that's crazy busted, so yeah. Okay, let's make the fucking ride then. Ugh. Wish I was playing a conjurer again and could just goddamn teleport all over the place. That'd be fun. quickest way down the mountain is, whether it's quicker to ride down or or if I just leave my horse up here and jump off the edge. Oh, obviously it's quicker to jump because I've got the whistle. So when we get to the top, I'll just jump down and then whistle for, for Helena. Saves me a bunch of time making my way back to Whiterun. Oh, whoop, okay. I appear to be taking a shortcut here. I don't actually remember what you get for reading all the signs. I think it's some perk relating to like animals not attacking you or something. I don't remember what it is. And there's not always a frost troll here, is there? I think in the vanilla game there's always a frost troll there, but in Requiem there doesn't seem to be. 
Unless the Frost Troll is like always there, but for some reason has a tendency to spawn and then run off the edge or something. <laughs> my illusion has been steadily... I ground my illusion up to 35. Right at the start of this game, so I would have access to Empowered Blur. Blur has been active for almost the entire game, and my illusion has just passively gone up 30, 13 levels in that time period. Just from having Blur active. That's all I've done. Yeah, for 24 hours real time. Yeah, okay, that's that, that's what I thought it was. It's not super useful, because animals aren't really that big of a threat at the moment. <clears throat> Certainly, it's not useful enough for me to be asked getting off my horse for every single one of those plinths. Too much, too much like hard work. Let's have a chat with the Greybeards and then sit through their goddamn tutorial. Everyone loves tutorials like 40 hours into the fucking game. It's the best time to have a tutorial. Why would you have a tutorial earlier than that? That's madness. Okay, I'm 34. 40 is an exaggeration, but not by much. Come on, arm gear. I mean, I'm just spamming the button. Good for a pacifist character. Yeah, I mean, it's useful enough, as I say. But, like, by the time you get to this place, generally speaking, animals aren't going to be a problem anymore. It's interesting and kind of, it's kind of cool and, and flavorful, but, yeah. Oh, sorry. I wasn't paying attention. Shut up, yeah. Get boost, bitch. Imagine you do that and then they attack you. <laughs> They're like, what? I am... Now, tell me, Dragonborn. Uh, uh, this be really, like, conniving and, and you slimy. I blah, blah, shut the fuck up. That is for you to do. There we go. But, without training, you have already taken... Oh, yeah, now this is the point when I can start skipping conversations, right? There we go. All shouts are three words of power. Master Einar... This is such a good trick. Thank you for teaching me this. This is great. <laughs> the fact that I can just run into these fuckers to make them stop rambling is so good. Oh, okay, you need... You're, you're still talking. You need to stop talking. I want to learn the row. Oh, he's still talking. Hang on. Shut up. Well, that is how the rest of us learn chunks. As dragon, you turn up See, okay. That's not working. I understand to an extent that the dragonborn can absorb the soul of a dragon, right? You absorb the power and life force of a dragon. How am I doing this? I get that I absorb the dragon's soul and therefore gain its understanding of the language. That makes sense. How am I gaining the understanding of Einar? And why is it that only the Dragonborn can do that? Because the I mean, he he's not a dragon. So it's not like I'm absorbing his soul. So what's the deal? How am I absorbing the knowledge of other people? That's not a thing. That's not a thing. That's not you can't do that. People can't do that. Like, I, I guess it's a special Dragonborn thing. Imagine if you could do this in the Civil War meeting, the worst quest in the game. You mean sprint into people to skip their dialogue? Yeah. I fucking wish I could. The, um, it's such an annoying quest, man. But the problem is the Civil War quest line itself is just as tedious. If not more tedious. Like, at least you're getting to fight things, I guess, but you have to, you have to grind your way through so many enemies. It's really annoying. <laughs> okay, cool. Are we done? Oh, nice. Go on, Bori. Let's head to the courtyard. I'm trying to think what I think the worst quest in the game is. The Civil War we meeting's pretty bad. I don't know if it's the worst one in the game. Um, I guess it depends on what you mean by worst, right? Like, most boring, I guess. Civil War's definitely up there. Not Civil War. Uh, the, that, that quest specifically is pretty up there. Um, 
I can't think of any quests that are just like glaringly broken. But that's not. I guess that's that's better than uh, better than it could be. the shot I'm going to use to fling myself off the cliff. Again, no explanation for how I'm capable of that other than video game logic. I have to say, I like how they have a shout where all it does is open open this gate. That's all it does. Ice Wolf's quest. Okay, yeah, Ice Wolf's quest is pretty bad. But like, literally, they have a dragon shout, and all it does is open this gate. Also, I want to point out that gate opened before he said backs. There we go. Blow up. Yes, thank you. Nice. Um, now we need to return to focus. Cover Zine's Fang, blah, 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 blah. Which way is Whiterun? It's northwest. I'm on top of the world! Blah, 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 blah. Further falling. Feather Falling is definitely active. I have cast Feather Falling. If I die now, it is a glitch because Feather Falling is active and therefore I should not die. Just making that official. A booyah! Make our way down the side of the mountain. Where's Dragon's Reach? Can I see it? Is that Dragon? That is White Run, right? That's, that's White Run that I'm seeing down there? Yeah, that's White Run. Nice. <clears throat> Let's see how far out we can get. The biggest drop we can manage. <gasps> Woo, baby! Oh, we're coming down on the uh, the bandit camp, aren't we? I didn't realize. For some reason, I never put two and two together. This camp is built into the side of High Rothgar. I only just realized that. Let's go. Okay, there we go. Getting up there is boring and slow, but getting down is fun and fast. And let's see if I can just spontaneously summon my horse now. Come on, Eleanor. Hey, there she is. Let's go. Okay, so... Where is the Horn of Jürgen Windcaller? I actually don't remember. Oh, it's there. That's really annoying. That's like miles away from anywhere. Also that bug again. Um... And then I'm going to have to make my way all the way to Riverwood. There's a lot of running around, isn't there? Need a ride? Where do you yep. Morthal, sir. Morthal. Climb and back and we'll be off. Couldn't ask for better luck. Sun feels good, huh? Oh, I do need to get my crossbow off the horse, actually. I just remembered. I'm pretty sure my uh, my Dragon Slayer crossbow... Did I put my Dragon Slayer crossbow on Helena? I don't remember. I was thinking about doing it. I don't remember if I actually did. Do I still have it? Nah, I still got it. Okay. And as you can see, the paralysis... The, the paralysis... The poison is still in effect. Which is fantastic. 
best way to get maximum value out of that shit. Okay, um, blur. I guess when I went back to Whiterun, I probably should have turned in the Companion's Quest, shouldn't I? Just in case it, for some reason. Because I don't understand why I was given that quest in the first place. Because I'm pretty sure I already had gotten to the point in the Companion's Quest line where I'd been told to talk to Skior. So I don't understand why suddenly I was given a regular quest again. Because obviously I do want to advance to the point where I'm able to become a werewolf. That's sort of the main... The main drawer of the companions. Oh, look, how many undead have I killed? 163. Okay, we need to kill like 90 more. Oh, there's a there's a, a wizard out there. Um. Where's the fucking wizard? I didn't mean to cast that immediately, to, to cast that, to use this immediately. There we go. They'll both die, it's fine. Um. Yeah, drink all the potions, why the fuck not? Not like I'm going to take them with me. Do I need a venison stew? A venison stew would be helpful. I may just end up using Valendering them. The more soul gems I have, the easier it becomes to use Valendering. Oh, hang on, there's a bunch of... Ah, uh, this is the one I was thinking of, where there's just a bunch of random wizards fighting a bunch of random Draugr. Okay, I should probably buff up a little bit, because right now I have no resistance. I say no resistance. I have passive 38%. Plus the 29% I just got. So that's pretty respectable resistance, but... Random heart. Should I eat this? Do I want to know what this does? Fuck it. Fine, we'll eat a heart. Why not? What's it done to me? Nothing. Okay. Very temporary. Whatever it did, it was temporary. Um, Staff of Fireballs... Staff of Fireballs is fine. I can imagine a situation where I might want one, but I just don't think it's that relevant. Oh, I already know that. How <laughs> do I already know that spell? I've just learned a bunch of random spells. Oh, that's a lot of Death Lords. Okay, um... I could really do a slow time right now. <laughs> ah, fuck it. Have a little map, guys. And now let's cleave. Because that's the way we do things. There we go. Yeah, we need to deal with our stamina woes at some point. I mean, it's not a super big deal, but we just need to get... Like, we just have extremely low stamina for this stage of the game. Um, and I'm looking for easy ways to rectify that. That's the short way out. Because you need to keep your stamina high. Having your stamina drop below like a third gives you so many penalties in Requiem, it's actually ridiculous. Oh, hello, Death Lord. Do you want to boost for Adami? Try, bud. Also, I, he's using a Frost Sword, Paralyze. Stop blasting me with fucking Frost Damage effect. Frost Damage is my stamina. I'm trying to conserve that right now. Yeah, yeah. I should just spam Paralysis a lot more. I've got so much magic here. So hang on. One, and again, I'm just going to do a quick double check for the Dawnguard Warhammer. I think it does do slightly da slightly more damage, but not, like, noticeably more damage. Mm. Nah, maybe it's noticeable, actually. Difficult to judge. 
Because Skyrim health bars are really screwy, so like, the first hit always looks like it does less proportionally because of the way the health bars work. Like, they're, they're sort of top heavy. So there's more health in like the top third than there is in the bottom third. Which is a really weird way to do health bars, but I've gotten used to it at this point, so it doesn't doesn't make too much of a difference. Yeah, I just need to find some time to pick up some honeycomb. Because nine of these stamina potions means I'm in a position where I'm like, mm, I'd rather not use them that often. Whereas I want to be in a position where I'm entirely comfortable just spamming the fuck out of those potions. Because stamina is one of the biggest things that I'm having problems with. Also, I should definitely have Feather Falling active if I'm going to be going through this area. Just in case I get randomly foo thrown off an edge. And by just in case I get foo thrown off an edge, I mean just in case I decide to jump off the fucking edge, which is what I'm about to do. And by jump, I mean... Walled! There we go. Um... Could have jumped, but that would have been less fun. I'm stuck in combat though, right? Yeah, that's actually kind of annoying. Hmm. Stamina just slowly ticking down. Because I don't have Stew active, my stamina ticks down just from walking. H. Nord Club. That's the uh, society at school that you join when you're a big fan of ancient Nords. Okay, here we are. This is the uh, this is the way to progress, right? Oh no, it's across the bridge. Yes, I remember now. I always get lost in this place. Hello. I was about to call him Jeremy, but I'm not wasting the name Jeremy on a random fucking skeleton. What the? Oh, there we are. Can you come back here, please? Thank you. Jesus. That's very rude. I'm a dark elf, so I'll just walk across the fire. I'm gonna do shit to me. I mean, it, it actually didn't do shit to me, and I'm not entirely sure why. It seems like the, the trap just didn't activate for some reason. There we go. That's all the skellies. Do I still have wolves? I... No. I should, though. Okay, so I kind of need to wait for my fucking stamina to come back, don't I? You know what? I'll actually wait. I don't have any buffs active right now, apart from um, the ones I can easily recast and the ones which last for a long time, like the Blessing of RK. So, um, RK's Blessing is still active, right? Yeah, plenty of time. So I can afford to just rest, to just randomly wait to like get stamina and magic back. There we go. I like that barrier. That's a really clever barrier, because you can come to Ust and Grav at any point, any stage of the game, but you cannot get past there without Whirlwind Sprint. Or I guess if you're like a Master Conjurer in Requiem, because you get the teleportation spells. But um, either way, like, you know, you need something special to get through that. And I think that's that's a really cool uh, and quite an interesting sort of addition. Um, okay, so sprint in, let's aggro the, the drop down. Okay. Now then. Again, I'm basically trying to get away with not using my poison resist potions, if I can. And of course I'm using sideways power attacks because I have cleave, which means that these hit all enemies in front of me. Whoops, shit. And now it's just the little ones who aren't such a big problem. Because they can't spit. What's that other dot right there? Thank you. 
I can hear two more. Where are they? I like how I can just whip straight across the fucking fire. Because I'm a dark elf. Oh, there's one's up there. Okay, I don't care about them. Back from the shop. What do you need special things to get through? What? What? Oh, um, the Uston Grav Barrier, the, um, the thing where you have to, like, run across the three buttons in order to open the gates and then whirlwind sprint through the gap. It's quite an organic barrier, um, because you just can't, you can't get through, you're not fast enough to get through unless you have something like whirlwind sprint or, like, a conjuration teleportation spell. So I, I actually really like that barrier, because if you come here early, you'll just come up against this barrier and you won't be able to get through it, because it's, you're too slow. So I think that I think that's actually quite a cool um, a cool way of pre presenting a barrier there. Oh yeah, cool. This is the end. Nice. Okay. I like how Delphine somehow managed to get in here, take the horn, without killing any of the enemies outside, apparently. Which doesn't seem correct, but whatever. Did you know you can get the Master Alteration quest done before you fight the Wounded Dragon? Oh, can you really? Is there like a random dead dragon somewhere? Is there like a dragon corpse somewhere around? That you can uh, carve the scales off of? Or is this some kind of glitch? I mean, this all this stuff which I'm doing to get to fight a dragon, this is shit I need to do anyway, because it's main quest stuff, so... Yeah. The fact that I have to do it now, rather than later, doesn't make too much of a difference. If you take a f oh, you take a Fusro Dar Draugr to Blackreach and get him to shout at the gong that summons a dragon. Oh, that's cool. Okay, I didn't even think about that. How, How do you do that though? Like, I get that you know you can use like Master Conjuration to summon one or something. I think I'm going the wrong way. You can get Master Conjuration to like summon one, to, to so you have a, a like a Draugr companion. But how do you get them to shout at the orb? Like, that's the part I don't get. Yeah, I went the wrong way. This is the right way. Because, I mean, it's not like you can stick a Fulmer on top of it to make him shout at the Fulmer. Fulmer are all in completely different areas. Not a clue, just read about it. Huh. How do you get them to shout? I don't know. Because that's not an option if you interact with them, is it? Console commands. I mean, I guess you can... Ob yeah, I mean, you could also just do console commands, place at me, spawn dragon. Like, there are many ways with console commands. You can also just do console command set stage quest to 100 in order to complete it. Mm. That's probably the most efficient way. It's as soon as you get into Helgen, just use set stage console commands and then you finish the master alteration quest within 30 seconds of starting the game. That's some tech. I think this is the way to Solitude. Is Solitude hard west? I think that rock is Solitude, right? The thing that I'm stuck. Yeah, there we go. That's Solitude. Hmm. Okay, so now we have to go all the way to fucking Riverwood. I guess I should remember to drop in on the companions and turn in my quest, just to see whether they'll finally let me go to fucking Dustman's Cairn, which they were not letting me do before. Hang on, what? What's this? What? What's this pointing me towards? Oh my god, he's here! What the fuck? 
Okay. I guess I don't need to go to the companions. Fuckers is just here. That's nice. Um, you another job well done. Your payment is Okay. I I I want work. There we go. For some reason it just delayed it. Don't know. I don't like making him angry. Okay. So I do. I should go talk to Skewer just to secure that quest. Oh no, it started already. Was I just going mad? Because I swear to fucking god, I had that line of dialogue from Farkas with this character already. Because I thought I'd already started proving on her. Maybe I'm just mad. You can't cast the spells though, so gotta add perk a lot too. Yes, that is true, and also. Well, I mean, you don't have to add the perk. What you can do is you can just add your experience. Add, add like, a shit ton of alteration experience to get yourself up to 100. And that will then give you enough levels that you can just naturally pick up a bunch of the perks. Not all of them. Because, unfortunately, alteration, like all the magic trees, is a... Uh... Oh, what's the term? A perk beneficiary. It's a perk beneficiary. In that... Uh... It requires more perks to fill out the tree than you obtain from maxing it, maxing the tree. Whereas other skills are perk benefactors. I don't know if this is technically the correct term, but fuck it. No, I do know. It is. I'm telling you it's technically the correct term. Therefore it is. There we go. That solves my problems. <laughs> you know, I do like the idea of the next character being unarmed. I think I kind of want to play an unarmed character next. I just have to figure out how it's going to work. It's definitely going to be Khajiit. Not because Khajiit are actually good, because Khajiit are quite bad. But for the flavor, um, they do have, like, bonus, uh, Fisty Boy. If you think I'm not calling the Khajiit Mr. Fister, then I'm afraid, I'm afraid you don't know me at all. Um, or perhaps even the Sinister Mr. Fister. But I think that's too long. <laughs> Gotta name him not on the list. What is that a reference to? That rings a bell. Why does that ring a bell? Not on the list. Oh! Because of the... Well, it's what, what um, Hadvar says at the start of the game. Yes, he's not on the list. So uh, he's not on the list, yeah. I was like, oh, that rings a bell. Also, this I'm going to Iverstead again. Yeah, no, I think, unfortunately, I think Sinister Mr. Fister is probably too many characters. Although, Bunny the Vampire Slayer was fine, wasn't it? So maybe Sinister Mr. Fister isn't too many. Loath as I am to play two male characters in a row. Normally I alternate. I actually come to think of it, I did two female with the previous two, Bunny and Nori, so we're due, we're due for a couple of male characters, so yeah, Sinister Mr. Fister. What do we want? We want the gauntlets on, from Gian the Fist, don't we? Like heavy armor's an interesting proposition, but the problem is there's so many complications to doing like heavy armor. Um, heavy armor alteration, and, and you just don't gain that much of a benefit. Like, the gauntlets give you some bonus damage, but not a ton. So, I guess I could just wear the gauntlet. Like, just the gauntlets. Oh, but no, I've already gone through this entire lot of thought process. The problem with wearing just the gauntlets is it significantly reduces the amount of defense you get from mage armor. I, yeah. The build definitely works. I think it's definitely a viable thing to do. But... So you're the dragon mm. I've been hearing so much about. I It'll be interesting to see how it goes. We need to talk. Oh, actually, come to think of it, do, do unarmed attacks actually contribute to one-handed skill? Does, do unarmed attacks contribute to one-handed? Because if they don't, then that's a hell of a complication. Because you get this, obviously. Um, but... And, oh, and you've got Flurry, which which works for Fists as well. But uh, that's it, right? 
I don't know how many of those actually apply to fists. No, you don't. Mm. But you also... I guess I want to do the training just to get flurry. Yeah. The only scaling I've got is alteration then, isn't it? Pretty much. Um, actually, what's the... Uh, I'll take a look at the heavy armor skill just to see how much damage it adds. Close the door. Whoops, hang on. Requiem heavy armor perks. Mm. So. What's the fisty thing? 10 to 18 unarmed damage according to this Reddit page, which is not a lot. Let's talk. The gray beard seem to think you're the dragon. Uh, yes. I sorry, I'm supposed to be meeting someone here. You could just be super rude. Just be like, sorry, I was expecting to find a man. I hope so. <laughs> I just handed you the horn of Jurgen Windcaller. I just came here for the and horn. Now you have. I knew the gray. Taking it was the only way I could be sure. Like I said, in I'm part of a group. If you really are dragonborn, that is. Before I tell you any more, I need to make sure I can trust you. If you don't trust me, you blah, 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 blah. Okay, whatever, I don't yes. care. But that isn't important right now. We remember you're the only... Can you do it? Yes. Good. And you'll have a chance to prove it to me. There Friends we go. Aren't, they weren't... Now something's happening to bring them back to life. I, and I figured out we're going to go there, and you're going to kill Kynes Grove. There we go. I need to get into my traveling gear. Nope. Give me a minute. I'm wait. going. I'm off. Snooze lose, bitch. Scaling still gets you to like 200 damage per hit. I mean, I was going to say, 10, 10 to 18 doesn't make too much of a difference compared to the 200 damage. Like, the, uh, compared to, for example, Transmute, which adds like 100 to 150. Um, my current com character is called Ambassador Ellen Wynn. Let's see if she remembers my name from the guest list. <laughs> okay. Um... Yeah, I don't... Ah, fuck it. Let's just go to Windhelm. Win Are you fucking kidding me? Oh. Sorry, Delphine. At least it was you, and you're not going to bear a grudge. Be good. Oh. No, nope, never mind, she does. I'm reloading. <laughs> Don't have to deal with a random, unkillable NPC who I've accidentally shot on. Can you use cloak as unarmed? No, I, would, I, I wouldn't be permitting any, um, any magic skills. Well, no, no. Any, any direct damage magic skills like cloaks. Um, buff to unarmed damage is fine. Obviously, we'd start as Khajiit, which gives us a basic, like, 25 damage. And then the one-handed perk gives you an additional 30 damage. And then, um, I think the base damage is 25 for a Khajiit's Claws. It's quite high. It's, it's the highest unarmed. Technically, you're just on fire. Summon spirit trolls are unarmed. T technically true. However, um... And then, of course, you can get things like Gian the Fist's um, gloves. And potentially, I think I'd have to play a character that at least invests a little bit in enchanting just to get my damage up high enough. I don't think I'd have to, actually. I think my damage probably gets high enough regardless. But I think I'd want to. I think that would be fun. Um, where am I going? Winterhold. Not Winterhold. Winterhold. Yeah, let's take a look. What's Khajiit base damage? <clears throat> oh, 
On arm damage is base 15, that's kind of meh. Yeah. Disappointing. They have buffed movement speed, which is interesting. Uh, they do have strong stomach. Oh, they have base lock picking expertise. That's p pretty good. Oh no, sorry. No, 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 no. Never mind. Their base unarmed damage is 15 and they gain a bonus unarmed damage of 25. So their, their actual unarmed damage is 40, which is pretty good. Add the 30 from the basic one-handed perk and you're dealing 70 damage per hit. That's like comparable to a basic steel sword. There's not much you can do to increase DPS. Ah, but there is. With, um, with transmute muscles. Are you allowed to reverse pickpocket shit? No, it would be it would be unarmed purely. But like, I mean, once you include things like tr tr transmute muscles and um, enchantments to boost unarmed damage, and the base unarmed damage and that the, those few perks, you'll be dealing like 250 damage per punch, and you hit fast, like really fast, and it takes no stamina. It, it, unarmed character. The big problem with an unarmed character is your range is. Ass. And when I say ass, I mean there are situations where you will be right up against the dragon, punching the dragon, and you're not hitting the dragon because the hitbox is really wonky. Like, that's the big problem with unarmed. And there's nothing you can do about it. You just kind of have to get used to it. Rude. You're rude. Okay, let's go kill the dragon. <clears throat> oh, hang on. Let me just check. I actually want to see, like, how much is Transmute Muscles doing for me right now? So, oh, it's still active. Okay. 135. Transmute. 270. Yeah, so that's an extra 130 flat damage. 135, rather, because the um, the amount it adds to your carry weight and to your health and to your unarmed damage is exactly the same. So it's 135 health, 135 carry weight, 135 unarmed damage. So, yeah, with Transmute Muscles, your unarmed is genuinely, like, competitive even into the late game. But without it, you basically can't do shit. Um, but Khajiit base 40 with a Khajiit, that's a lot. Base 40 plus the perk for 70... Like, means that I'll still be dealing reasonable unarmed damage even before I, uh... I get my hands on some, um... Get my hands on transmute muscles. The big problem with with that is I don't think you have armor penetration with unarmed attacks. Um, so that, that could well pro pose an issue. But we'll have to see. I think it's worth a try. Problem is Khajiit doesn't really get anything outside of that, right? Like, you don't have an option like Ancestor Guardian. Transgrove's just over here. I don't I don't think I need to Like I don't think I need my horse. I'll just head straight up now. It's annoying. Is it always this snowy? I swear it's always this snowy when I do this quest, and it's really annoying because it makes it hard to see what's going on. Um beef, hawker. Elsewhere, probably not necessary. Solo, yeah, it will be solo. All, I think all my runs are going to be solo from now on. Um, I was planning on making all my runs without enchanting or smithing as well, but to be honest, I kind of just want to see how high I can get my unarmed damage. That's something that I would really, really like to see. It's just, how high does it get? You know? Um, okay. Time to bust out the Dragon Slayer again. You don't say. I kind of don't mind the idea of playing a heavy armor character for it as well, actually, thinking about it. 
I don't know. Hmm. It's, it's interesting. The thing is, I'll have to... What I have to decide on is what my defense skill is, right? Because it's either going to be alteration or heavy armor. And I'm going to have to spec into alteration anyway. But the problem with alteration is that... The problem with that is that it's a bit too similar to this character. That's the, Oh, fuck. That's a giant. That's a giant right there. Let's not... Let's not get near that. Okay? Let's go around. Let's go around. Because I appear to be lost. I'm not sure where I am. Or where I'm trying to get. There we go, that's better. That's Delphine. Very slowly backing away. How brave of you. Yeah, I have to figure out what the best way to get my defense is going to be. Oh, shit! And of course, sorry, unarmed damage sc also scales with your health. The higher your base health, the higher your unarmed damage gets. So I just want to put basically every point I ever get into health. So yeah. No, I think there's so many ways to increase the damage. There's no way that that damage output isn't going to be viable, I think. Um, but I guess we'll have to see defensively how what the what the best thing to do is there we go okay so now we want to hang around these rocks so we can jump behind them at the first sign of danger uh, is there a big a rock big enough for me to just fall off and be behind yeah there we go oh let's uh feather falling just in case i accidentally step too far Hurry the fuck up, guys. I need to get your dragon heart scales with my Cavazine's fangs. That's the whole point of me doing this. Yes. That's correct. Don't know what that means, but yes, I agree. It's not rude. I have confidence. It's not arrogance. And also... I'm not the person who was calling myself Dragonborn. Fucking everyone else is calling me Dragonborn. I am Dragonborn. Oh dear, he's green. Please don't tell me that's a poison dragon. If he's a poison dragon, my poison strat doesn't work. Because he will be immune to poison. Big shock. And also, I don't really have much poison resist right now. Hey, Salaknia. He's not immune to poison. Can confirm. He is an ice dragon. Okay. Fortunately, <laughs> ice is not a problem. Okay, and do we want to use second poison, or is one poison enough? I think two poisons wasn't quite enough to kill the previous dragon we fought, but... The previous dragon, I think, was pretty hardy. I think he had a lot... I think he had quite a lot of health, proportionally. I think I'm going to switch to the regular crossbow and start blasting him with these shitty... Um, shitty poisons. Um, excuse me? Okay, it just, the, the icon didn't come up. Let's switch to this, so we can do some rapid fire shenanigans. Yeah, so he's a frost dragon, that's fine, that's fine. Um, next time he lands, I think I'm going to slow time and try and hammer him down. Because I'm pretty sure we can. Uh, how about no? Okay. Let's fucking do this. That's some good damage. That's some good damage right there. He's not doing too much damage to me either. Like, wow, that's entirely manageable damage. Holy crap. I wasn't sure how much he'd do, but that ain't too bad. I'm not even sure I need the poisons. Like, poisons help a lot, but I just fucking killed him from, like, two-thirds health. That's what slow time will do for you. Give me a heart scale, bitch. I don't know if this is working. Is this working? Do I have to interact with him? Yeah, I know. Okay, it worked. Woo! Nice. Slice and dice, bitch. There we go. Hey, Delphine. I just wanted the heart scales. I always go yeah, sure, whatever. Um, blah, blah, blah. 
a very I'm only talking to you so I don't have to do it again now later. The dragons are coming back. Our, the first thing, the Thalmor are our best lead. Before the uh, Grand is this right? So we fought them in the shadows. Nothing's the Empire, and now the dragon. Who else gains from that? But the Thalmor. You loot him with the blade in your right hand. Left hand doesn't work. Um, it wasn't my right hand, and that's why it worked. Uh, there we go. If we problem is that place is locked. Mm, I'm not. Meet me back. At also the weird that it doesn't work with your left hand. This is only going to get worse. Oh shit! Careful not to fall off the edge. I mean, I have feather falling, but okay. Um, cool. Yeah, we. I'm sure we'll deal with the Thalmor soon. And by soon, I mean by the time I'm ready to finish the game. <laughs> Because I have no intention of dealing with that fucking quest. Seriously, why are there so many quests in Skyrim that are just quite boring, you know? Like, a lot of the sort of political quests are just super dull. There's just not much substance to them, I guess, is the problem. Um, okay, well, let's head to Winterhold. Where do you want to go? Climb and back, and we'll be off. Because I am in the mood. Some master alteration spells. Tools, swears, and weapons. All for sale at fair prices. Oh, and I'm over encumbered. Marvelous. Let's go, Helena! Woo! I'm just gonna quickly cast Feather Falling on myself before we go across this bridge, because I'm super paranoid now! Yay! So if you fall off, Helena, at least we don't both die. Get your fat ass through that gap! There we go. Why is this man so rude? I'm literally a butt naked dude who runs around with a giant warhammer and this bitch calls me a milk drinker. Very, very rude. I mean, I realize calling him a bitch is also fairly rude, but still, he deserves it. He was rude to me. Shit. He's still in fucking Sarthol because I haven't done Fel Glow. God damn it. Oh, God damn it. I need to go do Fel Glow. I should have just gone to do Fel Glow now. Make him teleport back to the college. Whatever, it's fine. Give me the fondue. And then we can go have a word with uh, Tolfi Poos. Do bonus damage when attacking vampires. See, that's misleading. Is it just vampires that they do bonus damage to, or is it all undead? Because I'm actually not sure. I know they count as silver, and therefore they have like a passive damage bonus against undead. I know I, know I just left Helena behind, but I'll just whistle for her once I get across this. Bridge. Damn it, didn't jump far enough. <whistles> oh, nice job, Helena, spawning right behind. <laughs> Let's just, I'll just help you figure out how you're supposed to walk around things. There we go. Um, King Sarthol. I completely forgot he'd still be in Sarthol. Because I do want to get that Magicka Regen Circular. But honestly, at this point, Magicka just is not a problem. Like, not even slightly. Oh, there's a bunch of random bandits attacking me. <coughs> Interesting. Hop off the horse and see what we can do, eh? That is my crossbow. I forgot I switched that back to two. Oh, that's a lot of red dots. What's with all the... Why are there so many red dots? What the fuck is going on? Are those bandits or storm cloaks? Are those storm cloaks? That looks like storm cloaks, right? No, it might be bandits. Hard to tell. just activated blur, right? I didn't just deactivate blur. <laughs> Always worth checking. Um, 
Yeah, bandits. Come on! Play fair! Stop moving! Uh, who are they fighting? Oh, Ice Ray! Well, that was hard. <clears throat> oh, hello. No! Come back here! Come back! You little fuck! How are you just getting away? Okay. There we go. Thank you. Oh, sorry. Every time. Every fucking time. You accidentally bump into someone while you're murdering them, while you're clubbing their fucking head in. And they're like, what's the hurry? As their face gets smeared across the concrete. Like, it's... Ugh. Feather falling. It's active. Woo, baby. There we go. Let's get Helena down here just so she's not, you know, getting munched on by frostbite spiders or something. Come on. Stay there. Beautiful. Now we can go have a little word with our good friend Tolfdier, and he's going to tell me how to cast spells. Good spells, bad spells, just spells in general. Well, I, I guess it's, I think it's always the master, like, mage armor spell, I think. Um, oh fuck! The dude's still alive, isn't he? The, the guy glitched. Oh, did I disable him? I think I disabled him last time I came in here. The dude, the boss from the end of this dungeon, somehow kind of stayed alive and is also invincible now. Um, but I'm, I'm pretty sure I disabled him the last time I came in here, so we should be fine. Yep, he's not here. Hey, Dolph. Good to see you. Wonderful. And it's just... and that's it. I certainly think you deserve a... Mage armor on self five. Thank you very much. Yeah, so this isn't actually mage armor, or at least it doesn't function like it. Almost impenetrable force field that negates nearly all physical damage taken for 52 seconds. I believe, I think I'm correct in saying this, this is equivalent to Ancestral Guardian. I think that's what it does. Um, so, let's take a look. Can I cast it? Ah, no, no, I can't. No is the answer to that. 791. That, uh, yeah, I was like, 791? Really? Holy shit. Yeah, no, because I haven't got the perk, of course. The, the master level perk halves the cost of the spell. Um, so yeah, 791, still a little bit outside my capabilities. Let's go fight giant. I've been over this. The reason we can't fight a giant isn't because we can't take the damage. It's because we can't handle the stun lock. Too much stun lock in the giants. Shocked face. Don't give me that fucking face. You know what you're doing, was. You're like, hi, let's go fight Morokai now. Actually, I probably could kill Morokai now. <laughs> I'm trying to think, what can't I kill? I think it's just giants. I think I'd struggle with... I'd probably struggle with Alduin. Like, he'll deal a fuck ton of damage to me. Um, an absolute fuck ton. Because he deals base 1500. And my armors. So I'd be taking like 40%, which is like 600 per hit, I think, based on my current armor rating. 900 ish? Yeah, probably thereabouts. Okay. Uh, we've got what we came here for. Actually, hang on. Does he have the other tomes in his inventory now? Because I think. I, I don't remember if they appear in his inventory now or when his inventory reset. Have you got money? No, all my money is currently on me, so let's let's head back in. And by head back in, what I mean is I'm just I think the best thing to do is probably just reload a save. <laughs> save me some uh I was gonna say saves me some loading screens, it actually doesn't now. I fucked it up, never mind. We'll just go again. But yeah, I should have checked his inventory, because he he stocks all the other master books. Either immediately or after his inventory refreshes, and I do not remember which it is. It's all spells and incantations for those with the talent to cast them. He's got them now. Okay, let's take a look. College with spells and incantations for those with the talent to cast them. Okay, here we are. Lightning speed, that's slow time. 
Telekinetic grab. That That's literally just telekinesis. Straight up kill someone. Telekinetic execution. That is an instant kill. But what basically what that does is, you know what giants do to people? That's what that does. It's fucking hilarious. But it only works on humanoids. Telekinetic blast. Um, I've not really used that. Transmute corpus. Insta-kill. Like, there's a bunch of just random insta-kill spells in uh, in the alteration tree. Absorb Essence. Transcendence on self. That is the one we want. That is... Um, the spell that allows you to... Uh, there's no knock rank 3. There's Paralyze 2. Telekinetic Disarray. Telekinetic Nova. Those are the expert level spells. So Paralyze 2 is to AoE Paralysis. Doom's pretty good. Um, detect Aura is just the detection. Yeah. Uh, the, the detection that works on living and dead. You know what I want? <clears throat> I want Mayroon's Razor. Until next time. Let's go get Mayroon's Razor so I can sell it to this guy. Because there's a bunch of those spells that I want and I can't afford them. Not right now, anyway. <clears throat> Have I really just got... Is that all I've got to sell? Damn. Okay. Well, pretty fucking good. And it's going to get me a hell of a lot of speech experience, so can't really complain. Another falling still active. I was about to say good thing, though. That, that fall actually doesn't hurt you at all anyway. Um... <clears throat> is never appreciated take a look okay so what do we want <clears throat> lightning speed i actually don't care too much about lightning speed because i've already got access to slow time this is i believe one of those spells that's really slow to cast we can potentially pick this up later um the ones i care about are the ones which i might be able to cast now so let's pick up like Let's pick up the most expensive thing that we want, which is Transcendence on Self in this case. Um, practically invulnerable for as long as the caster doesn't interact with the environment. Uh, yeah, that that's the most expensive thing that I actually want and can afford. And now, we'll sell a Mayroon's Razor. Get all that money back. And... Then what? Paralyze rank 2? AoE paralysis is good, but I think it's... The problem is, if it's one of those things that's really slow to cast, it's just not particularly worth it. Because if it takes me, like, 5 seconds to cast Paralyze 2, and it paralyzes for 7 seconds, it's like... Yeah? Really? Not that worthwhile? Not entirely. Um, a lot of these spells are fun, but just not worth the price, basically. Um, also, I'm noticing there is no knock rank 3. So, Mark, you lied to me. I'm seeing no, I'm seeing no master level knock spell. Let's take Paralyze 2. And then we'll leave it at that, I think. I guess we another level, that's not nothing. I'm, I'm going to go out on a limb and say I probably can't cast either of those either. Definitely can't cast that. Yeah, can't cast that. Uh, yeah, it's a slow cast spell. That's kind of limited, isn't it? Compared to just Paralyze Rank 1. Um, I 
Transcendence is the incredible spell, but obviously we're not going to be able to do that until we have the perk, so that's that, I guess. Um, can I sell you this fucking dagger? Because I don't want it in my inventory anymore. Good. Yes, I can. Uh, don't want to sell any of the rest of this. I'm pretty sure all of this, I'm this all stuff I'm holding on to, isn't it? Other than those. Okay. Um... In which case... Hmm. This though needs to be a thief cat burglar in it. Well, I was debating about Thief. Thief, I mean, it would work. Thief would certainly work. Because the cats are explicitly good at burgling. Um. Okay. I basically just need to, you know... I think, I think the next thing to focus on is probably going to be my... Uh, the companions. Just so I can get to the point where I'm... Uh, I'm a werewolf. However, it has now been about another hour, which means, you know what time it is, it's time for tea break. I'm going to pop off, make a cup of tea, I'll be back very shortly, and when I do, we're going to go to Dustman's Can and uh, probably power through the companions and become a werewolf. I think that is our next major goal. Okay, I'll be back in a tick. Don't go anywhere.